What's up guys? Welcome back or to the channel and yeah, we are back in the underground So I do apologize if there's any background noise or any echoing But today we're not doing any repairs today. We're actually doing a mod So we will be working on the Jeep, but it is something that will be actually enjoyable to do Hopefully <laughs> So my favorite mod for the gladiator has arrived. I think this is going to be my favorite part that I'm ever going to put on the Gladiator. Uh, not saying that this is going to be the best mod. This is going to be my favorite mod. But definitely there is better things that I will be putting on the Gladiator. I will be doing a lift kit and suspension and all that good stuff in the future. But for right now, I wanted to do this because for me personally, this is my favorite thing that you can add to any vehicle. Now the thing I am talking about is in this box right here. But before we get to that, I did get a new addition to the gear for my Gladiator and it is tools. So this is my new favorite tool set and let me show you why. So once you pop these two protective like latches open, you get three drawers full of tools. So this is basically all your half inch stuff as well as your deep sockets. The top one here is quarter inch, three eighths bits, nut drivers, and all of the sockets to go with those. And your bottom drawer contains some wrenches, all of your Torx bits, all of your Allen head. Uh, sockets, I guess, uh, six point, your deep quarter inch, and these are all six point sockets, as well as some extensions, and then you can see in here, you get your, you get all of your half inch stuff, you get a couple of spark plug sockets, reducers, extension, you also get a space on the top to house a couple other things, some Allen keys. I've got myself a tray and some screwdrivers and a little wrench for uh, bits, a uh, ratchet I should say, sorry. I will be adding a few other things in here, but I think that this will cover 90% of the jobs that I'm gonna have to do to this vehicle on the road and at home. Well, you know how it is, I'm a guy, I love tools, but this is what you guys came here for. So let's get to it. Now this is my very favorite thing that I will be adding to the Gladiator. And yes, it is a steering wheel. And if you guys recognize it, it looks very similar to the one that's in there right now. And that's because these are made using an original JL wheel. You see before I actually unwrap it, you can see the sticker back there. I don't know if the camera's gonna focus. Of course it doesn't want to focus but it does say JL right there that is a factory sticker with their QR code that tells them what part it is it still has all the buttons on the back and it is a flat top flat bottom with molded sides and it has all of the original features and functions from the original OEM buttons that are pristine, brand new. You don't have any issues with them. There's a little bit of dust because I haven't wiped down the wheel yet, just because from production, there's a little bit of dust left on it, but it looks amazing. And it still has the heated function, which my Gladiator came with, and I retained that heated function. Now, I think this is gonna look awesome. Now, not that there's an issue with this wheel, to be honest with you, this wheel is great. I actually love the feel of it. The leather is great. But personally, I like a little bit more of a chunkier wheel. And this is definitely a bit more chunky. And it feels a lot better in the hand. I have big hands. I love the way that this one just sits in the hand. As well as the molding it has on the sides. It kind of catches your wrist, I mean uh, your palm there, nice. So I actually really love the way it's molded. I opted for the full, every option that you can get. So it has the real carbon fiber all around. You can see the weave is actually pretty good. And it is real carbon fiber. I opted for the matte carbon because I didn't want glossy carbon in here. I think this will fit in a lot better. It won't really stand out. And you can see it has all the wiring harnesses included with it. 
as well like I said it comes with all the trim and everything the full barrel is carbon fiber all the way around as opposed to silver or whatever this plastic is and I retained the red stitching just to still match everything but honestly I just love the way it looks I love the way it feels it even has the molding in the back here for your fingers so I think this is going to be a very great addition and to me the reason I say this is my favorite mod because this is the thing you interact with the most this is the thing that you're basically always using always touching always holding and you first thing you look at when you get in so I wanted to get myself a nice wheel. I've done it before in other vehicles and I honestly have loved the experience after doing it and I wanted to do it to this vehicle. Even though this is a brand new wheel, I still wanted to give it my personal touch. Now let me give you a little bit of a backstory because I did not buy this like you guys would normally buy this. I wanted to grab this wheel and I went online, looked at a bunch of different suppliers and I figured, okay, uh, they all have pretty much the same wheels. Everybody had a very similar looking wheel and a very uh, Yeah, they all had the same options and they had a very similar shape So I figured okay Let's see if I can find their supplier because I'm pretty sure these guys get their get their wheels made somewhere and Lo and behold I found the supplier from China. I contacted the supplier I actually sent them pictures from one of the websites and I said do you can you make me a wheel like this? And they said yeah, that's actually a wheel that we produce and we make it for that customer. And that's when I knew that's the wheel I wanted. So I chose the perforated leather on the sides, matte carbon. I chose to have all the OEM functions like heat, all the buttons and the trim. And this was not cheap. I paid around 15 or 1600 bucks. I have to double check because of the conversion rate, but it, it came out awesome. Like I am super stoked. They will even make it for you for other vehicles, any vehicle pretty much that you would want. You can get it with the paddle shifters for the Jeep if you want the paddle shifters. You can get almost any option that you want. You can get glossy carbon, you can have this piano black, you can have this Alcantara, you can have the whole thing Alcantara, you can have the sides Alcantara and the top carbon, whatever you want. This is how I wanted mine, but if you guys are interested, uh, I don't know if I'm going to start selling them, but I will help you guys get one. If you are interested, definitely message me. Uh, the best way to contact me is to DM me on Instagram, and I will do my best to give you guys a quote. And if you guys want to get a wheel, then I'll help you guys get one. But for now, let's go and let's install this. And I know it can be a little bit uh, intimidating looking at a brand new vehicle and or any vehicle and seeing that we're going to be removing the wheel and thinking that might not be that easy and it's not but at the same time you just have to follow the steps and that's all it is it's not very hard as long as you do it in the correct order and the first thing that you got to do is unhook the battery because you're going to be removing the airbag and you do not want any issues with that so let's go let's unhook the battery and then the next step is to actually unhook the airbag which will be two 10 mil bolts behind these little covers that are here the covers aren't on this wheel but they are on that wheel so i will show you guys that in a second so let's go let's unhook the battery and i'll actually show you guys how to properly disconnect the battery in a jl or a jt i'm not sure if you guys are aware but i'm sure most people know this by now the jl and the jt have an auxiliary battery meaning there is two batteries so even though how you see two cables here when once you disconnect this you still have to disconnect this cable from this cable. The reason being is this is still grounded to the other battery. The other battery, sorry about the background noise, the other battery is connected by this smaller wire and it literally connects to this battery. So if you, if you take this off, this battery may not be grounded anymore. However, it is through the other one. So you still have power going to your vehicle. Once you disconnect both of these, that's all you really need. You do not need to really disconnect anything over here. You can unplug this if you want, but I was told that this doesn't really do much in terms of sending power anywhere. We will be unplugging it today just for safety reasons, but I think that the first thing I need to do is separate these. Let's see if we can just pop this guy right off. There we go. So we'll unplug that, and now I'm gonna go and separate both of these. And we've got our little tool tray so we don't lose anything. Now, as 
So to be honest, this would be easier to do first, but we still got it. Now you wanna isolate both of these from touching anything or each other. And what I think I'm gonna do is grab a cloth to quickly wrap these. I usually have a rag handy, but we're gonna have to do it a little bit ghetto style today. However, something is better than nothing. And now we should be good to go and start disconnecting everything inside. First thing is these guys right here. Those are those little tabs that I was talking about or those little uh, covers. There's one on each side. So I'm gonna take those off. And then there's two 10 mil screws on, or 10 mil bolts I should say, on each side. Once you undo the 10 mils, the airbag comes out and you can disconnect everything. So let's do that and we'll be halfway done. There's one. And there's two. They literally just pop right out. You just gotta pry on that little tab there and that's pretty much it. And there you go. Two little 10 mil bolts. Steering wheel ejects itself, or the airbag I should say. And now, and now you can see We've got three pins on the back here, one there, one there, and one there. And we have a wire tie right there. So I'm gonna release all of that and the airbag will come free. So there, once you get the little wire tie out, you have a little bit more room and you have to move these locking tabs for each one. There we go, there's one. There's two, and we've got one more over here. So that's the three main ones. And this guy is a little bit tricky, but you gotta go in there. And that's it. There you have one airbag. I'm gonna gently leave it right there. And now we can focus on our wheel. And basically this is all that's holding your wheel on is that nut. It, it should be a 24 mil. Now I'm gonna go grab that and we'll take it off and replace the wheel. And it is a 24. So now we just gotta break her loose which is easier said than done. There we go. You also have these two right here that are plugged into, I believe your clock spring. And once you release those, Where's the tab on this one? There it is. Oh, you come here, you bastard. Okay, I'm gonna need the screwdriver for this one. You know what? I don't think it's the locking tab. I think it's this little wire tie not giving it enough slack for it to actually pull back out of the socket. There we go, stubborn bastard. There you go. Now, that's it. She comes off like butter. Just gotta feed these couple wires through. And that's it. Now before we throw it in, throw the new wheel in, you can see they packaged this thing really nice. There's like a proper, holder for it and we even have this hairnet protective guy 
Hold on. This takes more than one hand. But now we have our OEM wheel tucked away nice and safe inside the case so that if we ever do choose to use it or sell it or whatever, it is kept in great shape. I'm just trying to keep this hairnet thing from rolling as I tuck it in, but I think I got it pretty good. You can see it under there. All right, so now let's go bolt up the new one. Same thing in reverse, feed all our wires through. line it up and we had our wheel straight so just make sure put her on the same way <laughs> and plug everything back in where it was this one even comes with that push pin also removed but we'll just slide it right back in now everybody's favorite part the airbag now it's just the two 10 mil bolts now see before we test the wheel i'll give you guys a perfect example if you see see how the power comes on well look all i did was connect these two cables back together and as soon as you connect them back together, you'll get a spark, just like you're connecting it back there because it's already connected to the other battery, which is powering everything. So now we can connect this back. But like I said, even with this off, the vehicle still has power. Alrighty, let's hop in. But yeah, damn. That is a big change already. You can really like notice it. <laughs> but I also like how it now sits perfectly level with my dash. So from my angle where I'm looking, it doesn't cover anything. You can literally just get a perfect view out the window. Not that that little hump was making a difference, but it's just that added little feature. And for somebody tall like me, I get a little bit more leg room. Not much, but a little bit. And you can steer with your knee a little bit easier too. So, moment of truth. Let's start her up. And let's make sure all of the features work. First things first, that's a good sign. Press OK. Yeah, the buttons are working. There. Now you guys can see a little bit easier. My light was kind of blinding the screen, but the buttons work. Uh, yeah, all of the buttons work. Now I want to see if the heated function still works. So I guess we're going to have to give that a minute. But I honestly like the way it looks. I love the way it feels. And... It just adds that little bit of character to your vehicle. Like I said, you guys can get whatever colors and whatever finishes and materials you want. But personally, I'm super happy with the one I chose. And it still looks pretty factory unless you actually like take a double take and look at it. You wouldn't really notice it at first. Okay, so the heat function works pretty damn good. It still heats everywhere that it used to heat. And I would say it's not as strong. It's maybe like 80%. But what, what do you expect when it's this much thicker, right? But at the same time, it still does work. And all of the buttons work. So now I'm going to give everything a quick wipe down. Make sure everything is nice and clean. Because I got like sweaty, dirty fingerprints on everything from working on here. And under the hood at the same time. So let's clean everything up. And then let's go take this thing for a drive. And test out this new wheel. Because honestly, I love this thing. It looks awesome. It feels great in the hand. And... Let's just see how it actually drives. Now let's go for a drive 
And yes, it is actually the next day because, well, it gets dark super early. So today we've got some daylight and you can actually see the wheel for what it is because I know the GoPro gets a little bit grainy sometimes, especially when we're working down in the garage. I use my lights as best as I can, but sometimes it still doesn't help. <laughs> so yeah, let's go for a drive and I'll give you guys my first impressions and just how it drives and initial thoughts. But uh, just from driving it to the light right now where I am, I love it. I love the feel of it. It actually feels really great in the hand. I don't have any kind of like ergonomics issues. It fits great for my hands. Like I said, it is a big wheel, but I honestly love it. And it isn't that thick all the way through. Like the top part is a lot thinner than the sides over here. The bottom is also a bit thinner. You can see how much material is here compared to a regular like stock wheel. So it does feel great in the hand when you're actually maneuvering it and using it as a, as a steering wheel. <laughs> and yeah, so far so good. I actually love the sides and how the bolstering is and the way that your hands kind of fit into that little section there. It feels great. So I'm gonna go get some gas and let's keep driving and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And I think this thing definitely needs a bath. You can see all of the salt and crap that's been building up from the road. Yeah, not a good time. Well, that's a lot better. Best eight bucks I ever spent. And I wanted to show you guys real quick how that rust proofing still stays everywhere. So you can see, I don't really want to touch it, but you can see it still building up on all the seams. You can see it building up on the control arms and how the water is just beating off of everything under here. And that is a little bit of mud mixing in with the undercoating. But you can see it is coated pretty damn well. So that will ensure that no salt or dirt or anything gets to the actual metal underneath. And we keep the body clean to hopefully deter any other problems because you know when you have winners and salt on the road it eats everything so now i am gonna go find us a spot that hopefully still has a little bit of daylight so i can show you guys the wheel in the light and give you guys a little bit of a better review or just a little bit of a better view <laughs> but honestly i am loving this thing it feels great in the hand I love the smoothness of the carbon fiber and I got matte just so that it doesn't have that glossy effect so that when the light hits it, it doesn't kind of bounce back at you. Same thing, people have complained about the silver trim here having that same effect where the sun hits it and it gets really glary and shiny at your face. This will not do that. If you do get the shiny carbon fiber or the glossy carbon fiber, it might possibly have that effect, but to be honest with you guys, this one feels great in the hand, looks great, and that weave is awesome. This camera won't show it up, uh, it won't show up on this camera as well as it does in person, but it is a very, very well-made wheel. I have no complaints with the workmanship or the quality of anything. You can see the stitching is great all the way through. And honestly, so far, 10 out of 10. I'm loving this thing. And we are looking good. I saw the mirror on the window there and I couldn't help but drive by. And since it's the weekend, nobody's working today. So I figured we would stop and get a good shot. But I want to show you guys a little bit more of that wheel and just how nice the ergonomics are. So you can see how it has these cutouts or these bolsters right here for your hand and these fit your palm really really well as well as the thickness of it really fits your hand it really fills your hand nice and to be honest with you guys I'm loving it if you guys want one or if you guys are interested in something similar they do also offer airbags uh, fully wrapped in uh, whatever you want you can have it uh alcantara you can have it leather colored leather uh, whatever pretty much you can think of and same thing with the wheels like i said i'm not trying to sell you guys a wheel but if you're interested in getting one i can help you get one but at the end of the day i'm just happy that i got one for myself it's that little touch for yourself and that little 
piece that you're always going to be interacting with, you're always going to be using, and you're always going to have your hands on. So why not have something that you really enjoy using? Just got back, grabbed myself some Thai food because after working on the Jeep, I don't really feel like standing and cooking. So I usually grab something. So today it is Thai food. So I'm going to go smash this and I'll catch up with you guys in a minute. All right, Thai food was awesome. The install went great. Time to celebrate with my favorite dessert. And if you guys live anywhere near Toronto, then definitely check this place out. This is some of the lightest and fluffiest cheesecake you will ever have. I know that that doesn't usually sound like the normal cheesecake, but that is like a cloud, I'm telling you. Well, I think that's about gonna cover it for today's video. That's pretty much all I've got for the install. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, this is my favorite mod for the Jeep. There will be a lot more mods and a lot better mods, but this is my favorite mod. So that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys are new around here, please jump down there, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. But until then guys, ride safe out there. Peace.